That, I think, is the last test that they have. The doctor will probably get the results uh, today at their lunch, and he'll probably take a look at it at his lunch. And then we meet with the doctor tomorrow to mm -hmm. just go over everything. And we'll see what they say and uh, move forward from there. Good morning. Hi, Guess everybody. where we're at? This place we live at. Surprise. Back at the hospital. The hospital. For our last big yep. test before we get some answers. So today I've got a, a cardiac MRI. So this one will probably tell the most because the lungs, the kidney, all of that would be affected by the heart. But like obviously the heart is where the issue is. The whole right side is inflamed and that's where the heart failure is at. So we will find out probably the most in this test and then in the morning, we'll be back in less than 24 hours to hear what the doctor has to say. And we have a oh. big meeting with all the doctors, nurses, yep, and just go Figuring over all their test on. results and uh, a game plan going forward. So the next couple days are very, very important for us. So stay tuned. Once again, I just feel like my heart just like rips into pieces as he walks away. I mean, I always knew I couldn't go into an MRI with him, right? Like, obviously, but every time they take him away from me. Okay, I have regained my composure. Um, I just walked and walked and walked and walked. So it said we need about an hour to an hour and a half to about an hour and 10 minutes. And I'm exhausted. <laughs> Not from walking, from emotions. It's just like when this whole thing happened, it was like, okay, you know, do all of these tests, like pages and pages of tests. And then we'll get back to you and let you know what that means, what everything means, right? And we have now completed it. It's like everything that was in my power to do take his blood pressure, take his medicine you know, all of that is now out of my hands. And I just have to turn it over to the Lord and to the doctors and wait. And that's a hard place to be. I'm really, really nervous for tomorrow. All right, we're back out. All done after what, an hour and a half? Yep. One hour and a half in the, in the MRI machine, which <laughs> very, very claustrophobic. There was there was a lot, and they put like this weird <laughs> thing on my chest. It would like vibrate. It was almost like sending shock waves through my body. I felt like it was weird. Wait. Like I could feel it through my back. Wait, what? Yeah. Like a. a... It was like a chest plate. It was very exhausting. <laughs> so I would they, there was this. I had to wear these headphones, and it was a little speaker, and you would it would say breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and hold your breath. And like the first probably couple, like probably first 10 minutes, I had to hold my breath for like 30 seconds. And there was one time I was like. He's <laughs> 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 like, you doing okay in there? I was like, yeah. I don't know, I just wasn't prepared for that one. I just didn't have the oxygen in my lungs. But <laughs> it just kind of like. <sighs> It was really hard oh, though, um, but it was like <laughs> consistently, like every, I probably had to do it uh, three times a minute, probably in some uh, spans. Anyway, so it was, it was very exhausting. Uh, they did let me listen to music, Pandora, which was uh, a joy. 1900s. At least they, right at least they didn't have ads on it. So, oh, nice. and uh, I did the 2000s. So, uh, you know, it was a, it was a good mix. Good mix. Having heart issues? We recommend. Yeah, for real. My KD. Um. Anyway, so yeah, it was fun. But so they they hooked up my IV as well, which I thought was funny. I was just telling Michelle about. 
um, they hooked up my IV and midway through they connected me to some saline solution some that like, dye so yeah it's a see. dye um, and apparently they didn't hook it on all the way like screwed it on all the way and so as they're like injecting me with it I could feel this like rush of like pee down my arm <laughs> But I thought maybe that was like the saline was cold or whatever, and like they could just feel it like going down my arm. So I didn't say anything. And then when they got me out, he's like, "Ah, oh, looks like you had a little accident here." And uh, so did they fix it and keep going? No. No. So did you get enough? I'm sure I had body? enough in there. It w there wasn't very much that like came out. Huh. It must have just been like kind of oh, seeping nice. through a little bit. Yeah. Um, so then I had like this big red dye on their, their hospital yeah. gown. Yeah. And he's <laughs> like, that, that's why inside. we, that's why we, yeah, it did kind of look like that. So he said, that's why we have you guys change. <laughs> so I was appreciative oh, of yeah. that. But anyway, that I think is the last, last result or like test that they have. So that's at kind of a, at an end of the era. Yeah. At this point. So he said that the, the doctor will probably get the results uh, today at their lunch and he'll probably take a look at it at his lunch. And then we meet with the doctor tomorrow to Morning. just go over everything. All the test results, all the, just all the things. And we'll see what they say and uh, move forward from there. So. How you doing? One to 10. Well, it was really hard to stay awake and I was really tired. Um, Especially breathing deeply like yeah, that. Yeah, breathing deeply. Yeah. You're like gonna put yourself to sleep. Anyway, um, I'm feeling pretty good. So it's kind of been a long day. We had speech right after JD's appointment. I had booked him a massage so he could kind of relax a little bit before the big day tomorrow. And then we had a little play date with some friends in the park. So we just showed up to Palmer's first t-ball game. We also have Peyton's first softball game tonight. So now my kids are in soccer, track, baseball, t-ball, softball, dance, piano. Did I say all this? It's a lot. May is going to be crazy, but it will keep us busy. And so that's good. Palmer, y'all ready for this? Map. And look, she's got her favorite little guy. Look, go play with Mav. So Jay's brother's actually the coach, and her little cousin Mav is on the same team, so that should be fun. How are you feeling after your massage? Was it nice? Helpful and everything you needed right now? Palmer, when he gets to run to your base, you're gonna go to the second base down here. Can you do that? You gotta be watching. You gotta be watching, and as soon as he hits this one, you're gonna run to the next base, okay? Go, 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 go! Run, 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 keep going! You're doing great, sister! All the way to the base, keep going! Stay! Hey, high five, can I get a high five? You rock. I don't know if anybody's ever told you this, but you're not supposed to sit on the base. Palmer, You're not supposed to sit on the base, you're supposed to stand on the base. Stand up! So while we are sitting here at Palmer's game, I just got an email and guess what it was? The track results are in. And you, my friend, are very good at track. Did you know that? Five foot eight inches, you got second place. Peyton, second place out of 26 girls. Yes! You got second place, that's yes. huge. On the girls' softball plays, uh, throw, with a score of 44 feet, seven inches, you scored third. Yes! And on your um, 100 or 400, yeah, 100 you scored fifth. You got fifth place. That means you did so good. I'm really proud of you. Come here. All the way home. Woo! Run all the bases! Dad, help her run all the bases! All the way home! All the way home, sister! Okay, hey, Peyton's first game is underway. Can't wait. Mom's just getting here. We got bag, we got some pizza because we just literally came from Palmer's game. So we're super excited. Good, go, 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 go. Quick, quick, quick. Good. Go, Desi. Driving home, bud? Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Probably not. But it, but it's a good idea. How about Peyton at that track meet? She's amazing. I'm so glad that we got so her fun. scores today and that like I just was down tucking her in bed and talking to her about so it. And she was. Her. She was so excited. It really like I'm watching her play softball and Palmer play T ball. Tomorrow we have baseball for Beckham and track for the kids. But more importantly, something for this guy. Mm. Yes, it's gonna be a big day for you. Yep. Feeling okay? Yeah. How can I support you? I don't know. Rub my feet. Mm. I could probably do that. <laughs> probably do that. Just kidding. What's wrong with your so arm? Great. I wonder if it a reaction. Um. Yeah, you're having some kind of reaction in there. Yeah, I noticed. And that the other one's there. bruised from all the things they've been doing to you. Mm. Yeah, that one. With a big old bruise. Yeah, I think this might be from this. Yeah, like, you got some kind of allergic yeah, reaction. Can you guys so see that? I don't know if you can really see it. It's kind of red. All right, well, this is bueno. No we'll have to have the doctor look at it hmm? in less than 12 hours. Just a little reaction, it's fine. 12 hours from now. 12 hours. Oh my gosh. He's in a really, that's awesome. really. <laughs> that's awesome. His I vernacular. We can find out some answers, hopefully. Knocking on wood, saying all the prayers, sending all the good vibes. Please, please, please. We can do this. Thank you guys. All the kind words and support and all the things. Yep. So overwhelmed with love. So thank you. I'm going to go to bed early so I can wake up and set my day up for success. Thank you. Because tomorrow's going to be a doozy. Thank you guys for being here. Thanks, guys. Remember, we can do hard things. You can do hard things. We can do it. We can do it. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, see you guys. Bye.